bitch, kill one, do somebody. She didn't caught me on a bad day, hoe so perfect, it ruined my head space. The driver go straight to this decades, how could I ever be late to the airport? Uh, these Japanese garments is handmade, whole body covered in shit that I can't see. Uh, I take the bitch to the fast lane, I cannot help it cause I'm like Batman. Uh, but if you go ahead and crash. Alright, what's good with y'all boys? We're back with another one. It's your boy Zadika. Uh, this video be different. You know, last time we did the melody, this time we doing the drums. I've already done the melody though. I got like some Ian, some Rage kind of stuff. Alright, so the first sound I got this ARP and analog. Quantified Madness. Pretty fire. I took out some of the highs and a lot of the lows because the shit was loud. Just put it down on C. Next, I got an organ from Contact. This organ bank uh, out of space preset. I didn't even put any effects, but it's just simple. Um, we're in F minor. So I'm over here on the six and the five. Playing with the five and the six is tension notes. And it's just two bars repeated over. Next one, bass notes. Simple, no RPN, it's the dark preset. I picked out this kit and I found this plug in this kit and then I decided to use his template because it's just hard too. And since I'm using the sounds, might as well just uh, use his little skin. But got this plug called Ian and simple. Kind of just following the chords, keeping it very simple. The five and six, and then I'm using the, the third right here. Put some crystallizer and some delay. I think I had on the second delay, the half. Yeah. Uh, I panned it to the right, and then I got this one. It's a lead theme kit, uh, Rev. I'll put a widener on there, spread it out. Simple. Got on the five. I got on the, the fifth, and then I raise it up one. It's a tension notes right here. But. Simple. Pay it over. And then I got another art from Surge. This was a sequence, literally the first one I picked, one key wonder. And it shows far. And just did that. And it sounds like this. It's hard. And then I had a portal on there. A little bit of a delay, forever delay. Turn it down, good amount. And that's it for the melody. We're gonna go straight into the drums. Let me pick out some sounds real quick. But we're just gonna, you know, do this. Oh, see if we could do that. Bro, this mouse is going to trip me out. Oh, it's because it's on the portal preset. That's hard. I didn't even mean to do that. That's hard. Hold up. We're keeping that. I am, but chill out. We ain't doing that yet. Simple, just a little bit of bounce. And uh, plus some randomized, and we're gonna go into some rolls. Simple, we're gonna do too much of the highs. We're just gonna keep it a little bit bouncy. And we're gonna do something I really always like doing my hats. Just some sauce, put on some halftime, put on gross speed, whatever you got. And you can turn this down, turn the mix down, turn it smooth up. Makes it a little bit smoother. Could go crazy, could add a Fetrix, but 
We might have crystallized it. I ain't done that. Turn it down. We're gonna turn the threshold down. So that was a little off time, but we don't fix it up. Put it in between all that. We're gonna add an 808 of this. Press the wrong button sometimes. Let's do a triple go bounce right here. Turn it back to so. I think it may sound better. I'm gonna do a little slide now here. You can just do Shift S, switch it to a slide. Oh, so I can just beat real quick. It's a low BPM, so I go to about like 40 bars right here. We gonna take out some of this. I didn't even notice that wasn't in there, but all right, let's get it.
want to say, bro? When you guys are making beats, do not go and look at other people's beats and shit. That is one thing to, like, stop doing. That's one thing I I do on a big daily basis. Now, when you go and create something, don't be like, oh, I'm going to make, I have to make this kind of beat. Like, maybe, like, take influence from, like, someone. Like, Ian, like, I wouldn't consider this like, an Ian type beat. He could use it. He could use it for sure. But I'm not going for his sound. I'm going for my sound and maybe combining what I hear. Do that. That's what you want to do. Don't get caught in a box. People will be like, oh, yeah, this is Ian type beat. Like, don't. Don't do that. Because then people are like, nah, they don't sound like his songs. Man, as a rapper, no one is going to just be like, oh, I want this specific type beat every single time I hop on a song. Nah, you just want something fire. So that's just how you should be. You should just be coming on here to to make something fun and have fun with it. Don't be coming on here trying to, like, have a certain vision. Like, obviously, if you want to make, like, lo-fi, go for lo-fi. Do that kind of stuff, you know? It just, I'm, I'm yapping now, but yeah. I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look. All right, we back. So I changed, I added uh, a vocal to it. Didn't even change the key, same key, so it worked out. And I sped it up a little bit because the original song is at like 142 and the beat was 128, so I sped it up like six. Alright, that's not like it, Blake. I'm not trying to get copyrighted, but y'all know how it is. Next week, if you guys want to comment what kind of videos y'all want me to make, I don't really know. This one's just... I just got home and I just started cooking on a beat and I was like, all right, let me start recording me making the drums. Decided to add the vocal on there and you know what? Uh, that's it. That's, hope you guys enjoy. So if you guys want to see something specific, see different genres, just let me know and we'll be right to it. But I'll catch you guys next video.